Hello everybody and welcome back to Grandma Gives It A Go. In today's video we're going to have, I have two more products for you to, uh, to for test to show you. Um, the first one I'm going to do it's I call it a pillow pal. I'm not really sure the proper name for it. Now I saw a I was watching different reviews um, on YouTube and just to get an idea of what other people try and what they like and what how what works for them and if there's some products that I can you know use that they used and, and test them in mine so I saw this um, I've had this for a really long time for a couple of years now and the one person that reviewed it he was he said it was okay like he wasn't too super impressed but he liked it um, he paid $12.99 I'm like okay it's just a piece of foam with a nice soft cover it's almost like suede so it doesn't it doesn't slip I paid four dollars at Dollarama you don't need to pay any more for that so what it does is that you can prop up your tablet like that and watch your shows or your phone it holds your phone if you're you know watching a movie or something and you can even now it doesn't work this way for the phone but for the tablet you can put it this way without the little lip there because if you want to see the whole screen and it stays on there it slides a little but I mean it stays there there and it's there and another nice feature is that in this zipper pocket it does have a roll of foam but I keep my headphones in there then I never lose them I always stick them in there I have a pair of Bluetooth headphones that they come in a case so they won't I don't put those in there but my backups these are my spares and it's just a piece of foam in the whole thing it's got the zipper cover that you can remove it you can take the cover off and throw it in your washer and dryer and put it back on and I'll tell you it's it's really good if you're you know laying in bed and you want to pop your your show your watch your now as you can see you can watch grandma gives it a go while you're laying down in bed and prop up your tablet while you're doing it or whatever device you use to to watch my shows so I give this a five I think it's amazing I love it um, they come in a lot of different colors this was at the time when I bought it this is the only color they had left but they do have pink and yellow and green I've seen a lot of colors so give it a try let me know in the comments below what you think of it and uh, yeah so give it a go there it is my pillow pal I call it a pillow pal because it's a pillow and it's my pal because it goes with me and it, I watch my shows. Okay, so that's good for that one. The next product we have is a rug gripper. Now I've seen these at Canadian Tire and at Walmart and at Canadian Tire I believe it was like about $6. It was $5.99. There's four pieces so obviously it's good for one carpet. You know, you put one in each corner keeps rugs and mats in place no sticky residue and somewhere I read okay wash with soap and water to renew the grip if it doesn't stick and it's got like little suction cups and apparently you can take them off and let's see what the directions say something I read something about you can use them over and over place carpet on desired area of floor lift one corner of the carpet Remove the protective backing from the gripper. Apply the smooth surface of gripper to the underside of the carpet and the textured side. So there's the textured side and there's the smooth side. If gripper does not stick, use the tape provided. Okay, and I looked at this and it took quite a bit of effort to get this paper off so I could pull you know I had to you see the tear in it I had to tear it I could not even with my fingernail I could not get that paper backing off of there it was on really super tight so if it doesn't stick to your carpet you can add and then wash grippers with warm soapy water do not place in dishwasher no I don't imagine you would rinse grippers and allow to air dry once dry they are ready to reuse now it does say to keep out of reach of children and pets I don't know if there's anything in them I mean it's just sticky so other than the fact that it would stick all over their little fingers and the kitty cat's paws or the dog's paws or something I'm not sure why you got to keep it away from your kids but these were at Dollarama for a dollar and 75 cents turn this there well, let's try that again there we go you can see the price no see the price a dollar 75 
So let's go over to my little throw carpet that I have in front of my sink and try these out. Let's see what we can do here. Now you'll see I've got just a little rug in front of my kitchen, it's just a little slip rug, but you see how easy that moves. I just kick that and it goes, it bunches up, it goes all over the place. And this is a tripping hazard. You know, you can trip right over that. So let's just set you down here and let's try this. So I'm going to remove one. And it said to put the smooth side against the carpet. Okay, so I'll tip the corner of the carpet over. And you can see the shape, it just kind of goes right in there. And I'll give that a press down. Take this packing, I'm just going to make sure it's down there really, really good. Press that down a little bit. And uh, we'll take the back off of it. I'm just going to try the one corner for now, just to see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. So there, there it is on there. You can see the grippy, the grippy look that it has on there. They're a little textured. So we're just going to go ahead and put that down. If it sticks the way it's supposed to, you probably want to put your carpet right where you want it because you don't want to be lifting up the sticky and it'll get, I'm sure it'll get not sticky after a while. So let's give that a little push down and we'll give it a little kick and see if it, if it works. Okay, it's down there quite good. Just a little titch of the corner came up, not bad. But I'm sure if once you step down on it a little harder and make it, so it's not going anywhere. So there we go, it's on there. It might work differently with different um, type of carpets. That carpet originally had a little non-skid backing, but it, uh, you know, it's kind of old and it wore off a little bit. So, okay, the rug gripper, I'm going to try it on all my other four corners and go ahead and leave it there. And I'll let you know next week if I find that it, you know, gave way real quick or moved or anything. But uh, right now I'm going to give it a five because it did do exactly what it was supposed to. It shows the picture just like I showed you how the rug scooched all over the place. And then I gave that little corner a push and a kick and it didn't go anywhere. So the rug gripper and the tablet pal or the pillow pal, however, whatever you want to call this, it uh, those are my two um, products for tonight. Today's video, you let me know in the comments below if what you think of these and if there's anything you might want me to try to... Uh, you know to test for you to before you buy it you know you might think oh i don't know if i want to spend that money leave a comment and grandma will give it a go for you and we'll see I'll, I'll let you know my opinion of it and whether you like it so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy it please hit the like button ring the bell so you know when i'm testing products again ring it twice and you'll be notified whenever i put anything up and uh, make sure you leave a comment have a good day and stay safe. Bye now.